We are either going to do something super fun that turns out amazing or the biggest debacle of my career that you're never going to get to see. <laughs> yes, that's right. I don't show you everything when things don't go right. I want to make a whimsical woman with lollipop trees in the back. And lollipop trees are just circles with colors in them. So I have been doing some um, gel printing from a class I'm taking from Carolyn Dubay. So I have these and I have this that I can use. This has kind of a gold sheen and I kind of feel like I want gold stuff in this. Um, this may be a wall hanging. I don't know. Um, but it's going to be mixed media and we're going to start it from nothing and we're going to make something. Okay. So the thing that I've been taking a bunch of art classes. I bought this whole art class bundle and the thing that I noticed about them the artists is that they draw like children, okay? So I always thought that real artists started with a picture that was perfect and then just filled it in, but come to find out that they start with um, nothing and it looks very childish and then at the end it looks amazing. So mine's gonna be mixed media. It's not just gonna be paint. It's gonna be uh, gel prints. It's gonna be um, all kinds of stuff. So we're gonna start with, this is gonna be the background. Like the, the line of the world. And she is gonna be, this is gonna be green. And this is gonna be blue sky. And then we're gonna make some lollipop trees. So let's start with our lollipop trees that are gonna have, and th this is why they're called lollipop trees, right? They are super easy to make because they're sticks and circles. So we're gonna have several lollipop trees. That lollipop went off the side and this lollipop's gonna go off the side. There we go. So now we have a stunning background. Next, I want to make her head and her face. So we're gonna make her a neck. And this is going to be her face, so about yay big. And then I only know how, I only like one kind of hat I know how to make. So that's the kind of hat she's going to be wearing. So the, the way that I'm going to make her hat is we're going to have a big oval. We're going to have another oval that's smaller. And then we're gonna have a bendy part that comes down here and a bendy part that comes down here. And that's the entirety of her hat. I can do that. All right, so now let's start. Getting rid of some of this stuff in here so I know what's going on. Now this comes down in here. Okay, there we go. Thus far, I like her. <laughs> That's really, I know it's sad. Okay, so let's think about things that we need. 
Should we start with her? I'm going to start with her face and her hat. So I need another piece of paper. I've never done this before. You may know exactly how to do this. And if so, yell it out in the comments. So I need... A head that big, right? So this is going to be an oval that big. I think I am going to use part of the, oh, I want it to be really high contrast, but I think maybe this could work down here. Okay, so we have a neck. Ooh, do I want some of those spots in her neck? No, I want this. So I have a neck. There we go. We have achieved Nirvana. Okay, so now we want to think about her hat, and I don't like any of these for her hats. These are going to be more lollipop trees and maybe some, some ancillary things. So I need a bottom circle. And I know how to do these. These are just ovals. Yay big. Okay. Bottom circle. Nice. I need a top circle. Yay big. I kind of feel like I'm shortchanging her on her neck. Let's give her a neck. A real neck. Okay. Oh, and we need this part. We might as well go with all the same paper. That way it will all behave the same. This is a Grumbacher mixed media pad. Okay, it's yay tall. And it's yay wide. Oh, I think it's wider at the top, right? So it's going to be roughly this shape. And then we need a hat band that is also that wide and yay tall. Hat band. Stove hat. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm getting a new desk thing so I can keep more of these little pieces of good paper. But for right now, this is neck. This is top of hat. 
This is bottom of hat. Oops. Yeah, we want we want it written on the side. I want it written on the side that I'm going to cut out. Top of hat. And face. The way that I am going to do this. Well, maybe we should do our background so that we can have it ready when we're ready to go. Let's do that. So. We are going to, oh, should we use decent paint? We should use decent paint. Let's use black paint. We got, it's not my favorite blue. So we're gonna have to do something with it. We got purple, we got blue, we got orange. These are Dick Blick Studio Acrylics. So they're not Super fancy, they're not super cheap. They're kind of like right in the middle. And we got black. And I just bought, I'm gonna buy some decent paint, but for this first one, we are not getting all fancy, right? We don't know what we're doing, so we're not worrying about having fancy paint. We're not worried about having fancy anything. We just want semi-decent stuff. So pink. Let's put it in order. Red, orange, yellow, black and white, green, blue, purple, pink. Okay. So I need some blue for the top. And let's do a little bit of purple in our blue. Because I don't like that blue. Let's get a paintbrush that's wet. And here's how our sky was going. And I'm sure you're supposed to use a palette for this. I feel like I got too much purple. So I'm gonna put it over here on our side palette. Okay, and this is Of a deep purple I feel like for a sky. Oh, I like what we're getting over here though. Right? I like the look we're getting over there. Do we want a titch of white to get it a little lighter? I don't mind my paints. Okay, so let's get a little titch of white out. Whoop. Let's see. A little bit more blue for my lollipop sky, so it's more blue than purple. Just trying to get this blended in a little bit, but I want it to be kind of a dreamy sky, not a sky. Okay, I like that. All right, let's clean this out. And let's do green. So we have yellow. Let's talk about our color theory. What makes green? Yellow and blue makes green. And we have a green color. Yeah, yes. 
But I don't want it to be one color of green because that wouldn't be very exciting, would it? So we're going to use our green. And then, because this is a very, um, it's a very blue green for sure. Okay, here we go. All right. So let's mix up our blue and our green first. And let's put that all over here. Let's get our green green. Ooh, that's a pretty green. See, I like a blue, I like a lot of blue in my green. Some people like a lot of yellow in their green. I like a lot of blue in my green. <gasps> Look at what that did. I made a little rufflies over there. I could use some rufflies over there. All right, let's just try to cover this all up. We don't have all the time in the world. I'm gonna get my granddaughter tomorrow and the next day. And so I won't be able to paint at all. So we are painting under pressure, people. And I got a ton of ideas today. Got a little bit of yellow. Literally, I'm just trying to scrape off. I know you're not supposed to do this. But I'm just trying to get enough paint on this so that we have a color on it. This is not high art. I have never done this before, so I'm sure it's going to turn out to look weird. So we're going to let this dry. And we are going to get a gel plate. Okay? Because I don't want to make, um, like I want her face to be a... Uh, uh, brown but I don't want it to be solid brown so where's her face let's make sure it's big the gel plate is big enough the gel plate is big enough um and we want to pick a stencil for her face okay so we're gonna make let's think this through this oh let's make the first plain color of her face let's start there Oh, I put my pencil in my purple. See, this is why I don't think that I'm really the kind of gal that can do this this way with this side paint thing. I may have to find my artist. I have an artist palette somewhere. Ooh, I found another Dick Blick color. Yay, us. Oh, darn it. Look, see, that is a color blue I like. But we made blue, so we're fine. Okay. Oh, we need purple. So we are going to use purple and yellow. Color theory, what do purple and yellow make? They are opposite on the color wheel, so they are going to make brown. So we're gonna mix the purple into the yellow to make brown. And I feel like that is a very yellowy, orangey brown. So let's try a titch of white in it before we do anything else, because it may look okay. And I'm Hispanic, so I don't want no white girl. I think that's going to be okay. Okay. Get a brayer. And I'm just gonna go across where my face is going. And this girl's got a little bit of a tan. Okay, here we go. Where's her face? We're gonna press down firmly We're gonna give it a second to bond with that paint. And that's gonna be the back of her face. I don't like how orange it is. So we're gonna to have to get more blue in this. 
So if we do turquoise blue, we'll get the blue and the yellow together. And then just a skosh of yellow. And then purple. All right, that's making us very green. Let's get back into brown. So if that's very green, then we need a little bit of red. I think mixing this is gonna to be too much of a pain of the ass today. So we are just gonna leave this. I think I have brown paint. I know I have brown distress paint, but I don't know that that would work. Hold on. We're not gonna mix paint today. We're gonna to use acrylic paint because I have too many things to do to be mixing up paint today. All right, I'm gonna get paint and I will be back. Okay, so this is way too orange for me. So I want brown, I have brown, and we should shake our paints. Shake your paints, people, because that's all the goo in the paint right there shake your paints shake your paints and then we're also going to use um gold paint i don't understand why nobody supports nobody sends me things to demonstrate when i'm so um eloquent okay so we have a brown this is a very um i don't know that i feel like this is brown this is like a plum color so let's get this in here and let's let's spread this out and see what happens and i don't know if you know this but my superpower is that i have paint and glue and i think that's just a titch browner than I want it, so darker than I want it. That may be a lot of white for here. Oh, maybe not. Oh no, that's more the color I want. See, I'm a brown girl. <laughs> that's almost matching me. Yay, me. All right, so we want this to be nice and smooth. <laughs> that last one was not the right one. Okay, and we're going to put our face down in again. But I am not unhappy that we're going to have multiple layers because multiple layers in gel printing is what makes things look cool. So you can see a hint of that gold be or the orange behind there, but not too much. Okay, now we need our stencil and we are going to do that exact same thing over here brown a little bit of white a little bit of gold and i'm going to mix this up Roll, 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 roll. Mixing, mixing. Okay, and then we're gonna put this on our gel plate. Gotta get enough of it on there to get past the stencil down to the gel plate. I think we're doing okay. Now I want to take most of this off. So there's a bunch of it came off. I 
Usually I would put this on something besides my desk. And we are gonna put this on and we're gonna let this sit for longer than I've let these sit because I want this to soak in. I want this paper to dry and it to pull all, my pencil's in the paint again. My pencil can't manage itself, but I want this to sit in and pull all of this up. All right, so we're gonna set this aside. That's our face. Now, let's get my big gel plate out. And I want to make my hat. So I have top of the hat, bottom of the hat, stove part, top of the hat, part of the hat. Perfect, so these will all fit on here. Nice. Okay, I want the hat to be like a black purple. So this is a really dark purple. Let's put this over here. Get out another brayer. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. I've got to get my desk fixed. Okay, here we go. There's another brayer, purple. I don't have a purple brayer. It's just that purple was the last color I used. Okay, so let's get purple on here. If you're wondering why I'm gel plating this rather than painting it, I don't enjoy painting, like just painting for the sake of painting. Um, but I do enjoy gel press. So, oh, nope, this way. So I figured I could make beautiful things on the gel press to use for my painting because I am a mixed media artist. That is my jam. Okay, so we got kind of a purple background thus far. Now let's do kind of a purpley black one, purpley black layer. There's our purple. Or do we want purpley? No, I want purpley black. So if I put brown in there, then I would get a, um, a very different look. I want kind of dark and brooding, and I feel like black makes dark and brooding, and purple, or excuse me, brown makes vintage. So I, that's why I have my brown paint wasn't very um, mixy, because I don't use it very much. Okay, so now we're gonna Pull another print. Pull another print. Oops, I touched it. Pull another print. There, see, we got some stuff going on. A little bit of, and if you're wondering why I'm doing this on the gel plate instead of doing it on um, just normal stuff, it's because the gel plate will um, make interesting things happen where um, nothing interesting happens if I'm painting. I know that sounds sad, but it's true. I am not a painter. I'm a multimedia person. Uh, that's why I have stencils. Okay, so we're gonna get this stencil out. They hook to each other and then I glue them together with paint. So there's, there's multiple points of failure here with my stencils. Okay, so we're gonna use this one today. And we're gonna do 
purple, 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 here and there. All right, we're gonna let this dry and I will be back. Okay, so next we're gonna use navy blue. Shake your paints. Because I want this to stay dark. And this might mix a wee bit with the purple if the purple isn't completely dry and I'm fine with that. Okay, we're just gonna keep rolling, rolling, rolling. To get this all over this gel plate and I use an acrylic um, back that's how I could just flip my um, things around I love it my husband made them for me we bought a big piece of acrylic and then he cut them apart and the thing I like most about them is I can turn it over and see if there's any really missing spots and I feel like That isn't very covered. Okay, 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 okay. And now I'm gonna take my stencil off and that's gonna leave these places open, right? And I'm gonna let this dry and I will be back. Okay, so while we're waiting for that to dry, let's go ahead and pull our face and see what happened. Ooh, pretty, just a hint of color. And I like that. So it's a brown face with kind of a flowery thing going on. All right, all right, all right, all right. So now we can cut our face up. And no, I'm not making eyes or lips on this one. I'm new. She's just going to have a face. And no ears. I am Pharaoh Terra, taker of ears. So that's going to be her head. Yay, we got one thing done. Okay, let's see. What could we do while we're here? Oh, I'm having candy. I hardly ever have candy. I took mom to the, um, to get her blood work done today, and I bought a piece of candy. Okay, so we have two things we need to do. Let's grab our gel plate back. So, I feel like the hat band should be nice and bright pink. And her neck, I don't want her neck to be a real neck. I'm thinking black and I'll paint white over it. So since we've been using this sprayer for black, let's go ahead and put some black over here. And that has black and a little gray, a little purple in it, which is fine. Neck. Got some black. Let's do another round. And let's do this. I got this big open stencil. Oh, stop. Already not stuck to anything. So let's do this. There we go. We got a little pattern on neck there. Let's do this now. Oh, neck looks nice. Doesn't that look good? Got a little bit of that brown. Okay, I like it. I'm not gonna mess with it. We have to let that dry for a wee minute. Now let's do hat band. I feel like we need another brayer for hat band. Speedball. Oh, do we wanna do teal? Let's do teal. 
We got a real nice teal here. Okay. I think teal is one of my favorite colors. Teal, aubergine, chartreuse. Those are probably my three faves. All right. Let's pull our hat band. Ooh, pretty. Can we do that again? Get a little shading, see? I may not know how to shade, but gel plate knows how to shade. Perfect. We need something jazzy on here. Let's do, let's see, what's in here? Oh, we got some Vicki Booten maybe? I don't know if that's Vicki Booten. I think this is the Crafter's Workshop maybe? So, for this, we're going to go teal, of course. And then we're going to put a hint, just the barest hint of some blue. Just a drop. Just to get a different color in there. We're going to try this first and see how we like it. Oh, nice. Getting some depth, getting some color in there. Take this off. If you're wondering if everything in my office is covered in paint based on recent events, yes. Ooh, there we go. We got some bubbles. We got some different colors. I kind of like that. Is there more of this kind of blue thing happening? Oh, I like that. Okay, so we're going to leave that set. All right. Is our neck done? Our neck's dry enough to do. Okay, so now we're going to cut our neck. So we got a neck, we got a face. We're progressing along nicely, people. I would probably tip her head. <gasps> we don't have hair. I feel like we need hair. Do you feel like we need hair? Shh. Do we not need hair this time? You said we don't need hair? Okay, good. No hair this time. Maybe we'll do hair next time. I was thinking we could do a little flippy up here. But I do feel like hair is advanced for us on our first one. You're right. Keep it simple. Hat is not dry. Hat band is not dry. We're not ready to do anything yet. I'll be back. I'll wait. All right. We are going to make some of our lollipops. Okay. And you were thinking, oh, good. We shall so finally see her do real art. But no, I have punches. So, I want, oops, three, I like these dots that I made, four, there we go, we got four lollipop trees. is downright stuck in there. Okay. One, two, three. Are we going to get four? We may only get three. 
Oh, heck no. Heck to the no. We got four. We're cool. Okay. Lollipop trees accomplished. I feel like I want them to be more subtle than this because I feel like they're going to really seriously compete with my lady. Right? Right. So we're going to subtle them up soon. In the meantime, we are going to make some tree stems and twigs. Look! Twigs! <laughs> Were you expecting something fancy? I've already told you, I only know how to make circles and lines. If you were expecting something glamorous, you came to the wrong artist, because we are making circles and lines together. Okay. Okay. So now we got some trees going. I feel good about my trees. But I do feel like I have way too much of this. But I want to see. Okay, let's grab. Hi, Sammy. What are you doing, honey? Hi, honey. You got to go potty or are you good? She's deaf. I am aware. Am I talking to a deaf dog? Okay. So we got our hat. I'm going to take her out. I'll be back. All right. Catastrophe averted. She did have to poop. Aren't you glad you follow my channel? Okay. So we're going to make, oh, I feel like my, I feel like these are going to have to be my stems. And my twigs are going to have to be half of these. I was very aggressive with my stems and twigs. Okay, there we go. Now we have stems and twigs. Okay, whew, that was close. So here's her hat. Here's her face. We had her neck. Where's her neck? We've lost her neck. Oh, there's her neck. Well, I'm glad we did her neck this way. Okay, hat, tippy, background. Is this where we bring in some pink and teal or chartreuse? Yeah, let's do, let's see, what, what does this do? Now, don't forget, we're going to have this really dark. This is going to get darker. The hat bands teal. Okay, pink and chartreuse for contrast. This is almost already chartreuse. We'll make these pink. That is what we're going to do. And then we got our fun stems. Okay, so we need to pick this up. Oh, we can use a little one. Never mind. Okay, and if you're wondering if I ever clean my um, gel plates, no. Should be apparent to you at this point. Okay, here's pink, a little another pink. I didn't shake that very well, obviously, but we're just trying to get pink on here. Shake this a little bit better. Okay. There we go. Let's use our purple brayer. Okay. Pink. Dog has to come back in, so I will go get dog, and I will be back. Okay, let's see how our pink is doing. Ooh, that's not very pink. Were we expecting... I was expecting bright pink. I did not get bright pink. I got 
Wah, wah, wah. Huh. So, I think we have a couple choices. I think if we want bright pink, see what happens if we paint bright pink what right on there. I don't know that this is a very bright pink to start with, huh? Oh, that got a little brighter. All right. Let's take this away. And let's paint our lollipops pink. It's given me a real purple vibe, and the reason why that's happening is because there's teal underneath our pink, right? And pink is red, and teal is blue, and color theory is not working in our favor. But I like all the layers and colors underneath here that's making them not plain pink, right? That will make them more interesting. Okay, so we got those guys there. Let's get a chartreuse. Chartreuse. Let's paint these guys chartreuse. Shake your paints. There's hardly any left in this one. be able to see more underneath here that's good maybe had we done the first layer on gel plate we wouldn't see quite so much I don't know we'll figure this out as we go along and understand things more this time I'm just trying not to make it a tremendous debacle And I have scads too much chartreuse on that little circle. Okay, you guys go over there and talk amongst yourselves. Boop. Pinks, you go over there too. And we are going to bring back the big gel plate and pull our hat. Neck, head, we have hat and hat band, and that's it. Hat band is stuck to gel plate. Hat band. Well, I'm going to leave hat band longer than, than it needs to be and a little bit bigger because we have to fit it on the hat, right? So this, we don't have to cut the right size. Those guys are drying. Let's get... Now, we need to... This is dry. We need to pull this with something, but obviously I don't want to pull it with something that is going to, like, create a sensation. So... Like white, if we pulled it with, if we pull this with white, it's going to cover all of this. So we're going to pull with gold. Because I told you, I want to have lots of gold in here. Oh my goodness, you guys. Look, I bought this giant one. Vicki Booten, who's a bad influence, said I should buy a giant roller. And I feel like she was right. Look at how nice this was. Okay. So now, we are going to put bottom of hat. And 
we're gonna really stick it down. We are gonna put top of hat. Do we see middle of, oh, I put middle of hat over there. I was like, I think I've lost middle of hat. Stove hat. Okay, I'm gonna let this sit and dry. I'm gonna get everything ready for us, and when we come back, we're gonna assemble. Okay, so we have all our pieces. We have our background. We have our um, lollipop trees. We've got our hat parts. We've got our hat band. We're gonna start putting stuff together. So, I am going to put her head kind of tipped rakishly on her neck. And this is what I call making paper dolls. So I am going to make this whole person. I'm gonna make all the trees and then I'm gonna stick them down over there. Okay. So let's make, we'll let that dry for a wee second. We're gonna make our hat and I think, okay, so this is what we wanna do. So do we want our hat band to be above or, yeah, I think we want it to be right on that edge. So I don't feel like my hat band is very straight. Let's straighten that up a teeny bit. And let's stick our hat band on our hat. And if you don't want to glue your stuff to your stuff, don't glue on top of your stuff. Okay, here we go, here we go. Stick that down. I figured we might need a skosh of glue at the top of this hat band. I did the hat band upside down. I just figured that out when I looked and I was like, why is the bottom of the, because the bottom of the hat is bigger than the top of the hat. So now we are going to do this again. Okay. So that is gonna be fine. We're gonna do this. And you can see I'm not doing it perfectly the way I did in the, um, <laughs> perfectly, perfectly like I did in the three-year-old's drawing, but Feel like I need a little tiny bit right here because we're gluing um, paper to acrylic paint. So sometimes that doesn't work so great. Okay, that's pretty good done. All right, so now let's put our hat on our hat. And we're gonna do this, I think a tiny bit above the middle. There we go fancy hat and then we have to figure out how tall we want this hat and then we have to make our top of the hat let's look at our what our hat looks like so the top of our hat oh, I almost feel like I do want it to be that big what happens then no we gotta we got to get it down in here somewhere because we have her head and her neck and then her hat. Okay, so we need it to be... Okay, so first off, I need this to be a little bit smaller. We're going to go in increments. We're not going to go crazy and chop this hat up because we can't make it again but we're gonna cut off a little bit and see how we like it. I think it's still a little bit more. All right, it's getting closer, I feel like. But I do want it to be kind of, okay, I want it to be like this, but lower. How can we do that? I know how we can do that. Are you ready? Okay, so that's something to remember for next time. I need way more hat band, hat, because that is how I want it to look, so that it looks like it could be coming up. So 
so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut here and we're gonna scooch this down like this. And if you don't want your stuff to stick to your stuff, don't glue on your stuff. And then we are going to do this. We can't pull that up, so we're gonna have to make this work. It's okay. We're gonna figure that out. Okay, so her eyes, so if it was a real hat, her head would be sitting up in there. So let's put her right there. Note to self, put the hat together and then put the hat band on. And I promise you this will be okay. You will not be sad when I'm done. Please stop every time something goes awry thinking you've ruined everything. So her hat is going to go off the side because she's going to have a ball that comes around. All right, let's make some lollipop trees. Maybe she can't have a ball on this one. Maybe she has to be smaller to have these balls that come off the top. But let's see what we got first. Because I have my balls. They go with her hat. But that's going to make a whole but that's gonna make a whole bunch of circles up here. I think once we see our lollipop trees up there, we're gonna be like, oh, there's a lot of balls up there. Circle is my favorite shape. Okay, we need this to be stuck down. Okay, 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 okay. okay. All right, lollipop trees. stems. So let's make three lollipop trees. I like the pink ones better, I think. So let's two pink ones, one chartreuse. There we go. Excellent. And then we need our, oh, we need to make our chartreuse one. I am very good at making lollipop trees. I know, right? You were worried. So, we could do this. I think we might do that and then give them one stem each. Oh, I feel like that's a lot of balls. We're going to have just these lollipop trees thus far. If we need to, we can make one more. I don't need the the balls on the side okay 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 there we go we got this stuff left over over here in case we need it let's put our lollipop trees up so they're gonna go pink yellow pink like that Okay, I'm going to put her head in here. They are going to go over here. Aha, hold on. Okay, so these are way too big, which helps solve the problem of my white spot on my balls. Still too big. Oh, perfect. And so now my, I can show my line going up and then coming down right there. And I can put my lollipop trees over here. I definitely do not want one in front of her face, so we are gonna put these guys right like this.
lady down here. This one goes on top of that one. Okay, now we're gonna glue her on. I'm gonna glue the balls on. I'm gonna put a big journal on here and let this sit. And then I'm gonna go and doodle it. And when I come back, it will be all done. And we'll see if we like how it turned out. Okay, now I need, oh, I have a box. Nice. Boop. There we go, and I'll be back. Okay, so I finished this up. Things I learned this time. Um, I totally wish this wasn't here and that there was a real hat band, okay? I get that. You can't take that away, and I understand that. I think I want the hat to be bigger and the face to be a little bit smaller and the neck to be longer next time. And I think I might do another one because I kind of like how this turned out. I'm not unhappy with it. I did painting. I would do more shading if I was gonna keep this one. I would, um, I like how the neck turned out. I'm gonna have like maybe a longer neck, a littler head, and maybe a littler hat so you can see more of it and get it. But I like how, I, I really like how the hat turned out minus this weird part right there. So if that wasn't there, I would be thrilled with my hat. So I'm very good with my hat. I almost feel like, look how I did the hat before with the top and here. I'm thinking I might want to do my hats a little different, but I think the hat is going to be the thing. I think that's it for right now, but I, I like how it turned out. I'm not unhappy. I just, this is the very first one I've ever done, so it's not perfect, and I will continue to try to fix my progress. So hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life.